Hello and welcome back to Alex Goes Sailing. In this episode, I went to some boat shows. The first one was Southampton Boat Show, and then I went to the brand new Boat Life Boat Show. I'm going to talk about are they worth going to, are they any good, and I'll show you some of the interesting things I saw while I was at these shows. So let's get into it. Now the first stop was the Southampton Boat Show, which is right on the water in Mayflower Park. The first show was held in 1969 and is coming up to its 53rd boat show. The show has two main areas, the land based stands and the dock which has loads of boats to check out and a little on the water activity area. Now the show has a 50-50 split between sailboats and motorboats, with only a handful of multi holes at the show. There were also a surprising amount of small sailboats under 26 foot, which I quite liked. One in particular that caught my eye was the Atlanta 26. It has twin center boards and a retractable rudder and a narrow beam that made this one of the earliest tradable cruising yachts of this size. There were some newer boats at the show like the Cornish Shrimper and the Swallows on the water, which was also nice to see. And then we had these amphibious cars which I didn't expect to see, and I think they're based off a of Suzuki, which is quite cool. I also got to check out the biggest boat at the show, which was this tall ship that you could go aboard and crawl all over it. Now it's time to get over to the shore base stands. Now the first stop was the Vico stand, as I really wanted to check out the S21, which is their tradable sailboat. Some of the things that I really like about this boat was the mast raising system with an A-frame at the front that stays attached to the boat when you go sailing. Also the amount of room you get inside and then the double bed that they managed to fit under the cockpit at the back. Now I will be doing a review on this boat later in the season so keep an eye out for that. The next boat that I had to check out was the Globe 5.8 meter which is very utilitarian which I quite like and is very simple inside with plenty of storage and even has a big hatch inside to separate the bow from the main cabin. There were many other stands showing navigation equipment to ropes and rigging and some had some cool new products like this electric dinghy outboard. And there was also this boat that was trying to be a car, a bit like the car that was trying to be a boat that we saw a little bit earlier. Overall there is plenty to see and do at the Southampton Boat Show and could be done within a day if you get up early. Now I'd say it's worth a visit if you have the chance to as you can get some pretty good deals. Now it's time to check out a new boat show to the calendar. The new Boat Life Boat Show is held in Birmingham, which is nowhere near the sea at all. It's their first year of the event and it was impressive to see how organised it was. It's an indoor event at the NEC with a little more focus on inland boating, but still having big motorboats, sailboats and all the other fun toys like jet skis. They also had different live talks over the weekend from people like Pippo Hare and Tom Cunliffe. I really enjoyed both of those and they pulled in quite large crowds. They even had a bar and a pub at the show, which is always a bonus. Now one thing that I would have liked to see more of was sailboats. There was the Vico stand and then next to them was Sailing Flander. She had a boat brought to the show. Katie managed to be the youngest sailor to sail solo around the UK at the age of 14, which is pretty impressive. And she did it in a boat that she fixed up herself. Now apart from those three sailboats, there are a few smaller dinghy sized boats. This was their first year and they did say they expected a lot more next time around. Now the rest of the show had a lot of goodies to spend a lot of money on, but it was nice just to dream a little. I did make it into the Raymarine stand and drool over some of the gadgets and I'd have to tear the pilot or two. Now overall this was a good show considering it is their first one. It was on the small side and you can get through everything quite quickly. But with the live talks and interactive VR stand, you could find something to do or just get lost in the pub. Now that you've seen what to expect from these shows, are they any good? And I would have to say definitely if you're doing a refit or some upgrades or even looking to buy a new boat. It might also be a fun day out if you have no wind to go sailing with. I also wouldn't want to go every year as it's mostly the same as the one before it. Now I hope you enjoyed that overview. 
you will start to see this season's episodes rolling out very soon. First off will be some boat projects, but then we'll be straight into some sailing action, with a few boat reviews sprinkled in. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.